Hello, and welcome to another Oracle Policy Automation Brief. In this brief, we focus on the OPA connector for Siebel version 10.4.1, specifically inferred entity integration between OPA and Siebel. Oracle Policy Automation version 10.4 introduced the ability to infer entity instances through policies or rules. For example, to infer the existence of tax years based on the type and timing of earned income, or to infer one or more service requests or return authorizations in compliance with standard policies. As of version 10.4.1 of the OPA connector for Siebel, these inferred entity instances can result in new rows within the Siebel data model. For example, integration objects or business components when using Oracle Web Determinations. Now let's take a closer look at how these inferred entity instances appear within Siebel. In this demonstration, we'll show how inferred entity instances and relationships are handled through the OPA connector in Siebel. For this demonstration, we'll use the integration object mapping with a rule base deployed to Siebel Web Determinations. First, we'll look at the integration object in Siebel. In this case, the integration object is named OPA Test HLS Case. The integration object has four integration components. The HLS case is the global entity, and that global entity has two child elements, account and contact, and the contact entity has one child entity, fin contact income. Looking at the rule base that makes use of this integration object, we see there are four entities with the same hierarchy as the integration object. There are also two relationships that will be inferred in this rule base. The first relationship is the accounts contacts, which is a reference relationship. The second relationship that will be inferred is the fin contact incomes. This is a containment relationship. There are two rules for the relationships that will be inferred. Both of them depend on the value of the reward amount, which is an attribute of the global entity. For example, based on the reward amount, the FIN contact incomes may be set to salary, bonus, or talent fee as inferred instances. Upon building the rule base in Oracle Policy Modeling, the test rule base zip file is created, and we can deploy this on Siebel Determination Server, Siebel Web Determinations, and or Siebel Web Determinations embedded. Now we'll start an assessment with the rule base using Siebel Web Determinations. We'll start this assessment with a blank session, meaning no data is preceded from Siebel. We click on the first goal to start the assessment. Start specifying input data. Note that the rule states that the accounts contacts and the fin contact incomes will only be inferred if the reward amount is greater than 12,000. Submitting the data. Adding instances for the entity account including the account's name, whether it's public, etc. Once the assessment is complete, we can check the decision report to see which inferred instances have been created for the two relationships. The first relationship is the account's contacts. Since the reward amount was greater than 12,000, the instance of the account's contact was inferred by the account's key competitors, which in this case was my company. Note that the inferred reference relationships are not visible on the Siebel Sessions tab. The instance for the entity, the contacts, was also inferred by the account's key competitor. The second relationship was the FIN contact incomes. Since the reward amount equaled 13,000 as we had put the data, there are only two instances that were inferred. We save the session so that we can return to Siebel and see the inferred instances. Make note of the case ID, in this case 1-2FJ8. To see the saved session, we log into the Siebel client and go to the Administration Policy Automation tab, then to the Sessions tab. By clicking on the Mappings applet and clicking the name of the mapping, in this case it was the Test Rule Base Integration Object, and then we see on the Policy Automation Session applet, we can select the session that was just saved using the ID. To see the inferred instances for the containment relationship, FIN contact incomes, we go to the Policy Automation Session Entity applet and click on the Entity Contact. On the Policy Automation Session Relationship applet, the two inferred 
instances for that relationship are being displayed. As mentioned earlier, the inferred reference relationships are not displayed on this screen, so the account's contact relationship is not available. Also note that the Policy Automation Session Attribute applet shows the attributes for the inferred contact, My Company. Also, the column Is Inferred is marked with a Y. Taking a closer look at the two inferred income instances, we can click on the Income Entity from the Policy Automation Session Entity applet, and on the Policy Automation Session Attribute applet, the source of the income is being displayed. For the first instance, it is Bonus and is inferred column is marked with a Y. The second inferred instance is salary. Again the column is inferred is also marked with Y. Looking at the rule base we see there's four possible instances for the relationship fin contact incomes but only the first two were inferred given the data that we provided to Oracle Web Determinations. If we change the reward amount to 16,000, all four instances would then be inferred. Returning to Oracle Web Determinations, we reload the same session, change the reward amount that we specify through Oracle Web Determinations to 16,000, once again save the session, return to the decision report, where we see all four instances for the FIN contact incomes have been inferred. Returning to Siebel Client, we can see the Policy Automation Session Relationship applet now shows the four inferred instances. Taking a closer look at each of the four, we see Bonus, then Salary, Talent Fee, and Extra Pay. To review, the demonstration we've just shown began with a blank Siebel Web Determinations session. In other words, all data was provided through Oracle Web Determinations and then integrated to Siebel. It is also possible to pre Siebel Web Determinations sessions with data from Siebel and then supplement that information during the course of an interview and save all inferred information back to Siebel. Thank you for viewing this segment of the Oracle Policy Automation Series. To learn more and stay connected with the OPA community, discuss OPA on the Oracle Policy Automation Forums, watch more videos on the Oracle Policy Automation YouTube channel, learn more from oracle.com or find courses on education.oracle.com, and research OPA on the Oracle Technology Network.